RGB, CMYK, and PMS. What's the difference? Why is it important? How do they work? And when should you choose one over the other? RGB stands for red, green, blue, and is the color space used for any images that will appear on a lighted screen. So if your graphics will be uploaded to the internet or edited into a video, this is what you want. CMYK, also known as four color process, stands for cyan, magenta, yellow, and key, which is black. This is the most common color mode used in commercial printing. If you are printing a photograph or artwork with lots of color or gradients, this is the color mode you should select in Photoshop or whichever design software you are using. PMS is short for Pantone Matching System, which is a proprietary color system developed in 1962 whose goal was to standardize color, allowing commercial printers, advertisers, and manufacturers to create perfect color consistency across all mediums. You probably noticed as a kid when you spilt water on your old tube TV screen that little red, green, and blue dots magically appeared. The screen you are watching YouTube on right now is made up of millions of tiny dots known as pixels. Those pixels are made up of three smaller subpixels that are either red, green, or blue. These subpixels are added in various combinations to create a wide array of colors. When all three are added at 100%, you get white, which is why RGB is known as an additive color model. Now let's talk about CMYK, also known as four color process or sometimes just process color. If you've ever had to change out the ink in your home digital printer, you've probably noticed that the colors are separated into four different cartridges. Cyan, a sort of light blue, magenta, a deep pink, then yellow, then black. This is identical to the way most large offset printers are set up as well. Using a process called half toning, an image or artwork is split up into these four base colors. A printing plate is made for each, and as the paper passes through the press, each color is laid down on top of the next, resulting in a full color image. If your art contains only yellow and black, like this example, then only two plates would be made and only two drums would be active during printing. CMYK is a subtractive color model, which means the more color you remove, the closer you get to white. Since we're talking about printing here, white is represented by the blank sheet of paper that sits underneath your printed ink. Four color process printing was developed in order to create an efficient way to produce lots of colors with only one setup of the press. This is much quicker than printing with Pantone spot colors, which we will talk about in just a minute. So when should you use CMYK color? In general, if you are printing photographs or artwork that has a ton of colors, gradients, or shading, then four color process printing is the best fit. It is important to note that the CMYK color you see on your screen will never match exactly the physically printed color. Because your screen is backlit, the colors will always appear more bright or vibrant. In order to help our designers and clients, we created a process color reference booklet in order to share a list of optimized CMYK color values and to show what they look like after printing. I will post a link in the description below so you can download the digital PDF file and print it out at home on your digital printer. Or you can request a free offset printed copy from us. Simply send us your mailing address via email to info at printpeppermint.com. Now let's talk about PMS Pantone spot colors. As I mentioned before, PMS colors are proprietary colors owned by x which are mixed by combining 14 base pigments in various amounts. Pantone also offers specialty colors like neons, fluorescents, pastels, and metallics. Although all modern design software include Pantone palettes within them, in order to properly reference these colors, you will want to order the physically printed color guides or fan books from Pantone's website or Amazon. PMS colors should be used in the following scenarios. A, when you need perfectly accurate or matched color, like the UPS brown, for example, or B, when you just want to ensure a bright, solid, stunning color as many lighter colors can appear dull when printed in four color process. As of the year 2000, it is estimated that around 30% of Pantone colors cannot be faithfully reproduced with four color process printing. More recently, Pantone did develop a seven color process system called Extended Gamut, which adds orange, green, and violet in addition cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, and this allows for more of the Pantone color palette to be accurately recreated. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing as we will be posting similar videos to this in the coming weeks. We'll be tackling topics such as what is a printer's loop and why do you need one, which Pantone guidebook should I buy, and how to convert RGB and CMYK colors to Pantone colors the right way. Once these videos are live, I'll post links in the description below. Thanks again for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.